the Spanish performance and uh, Kyle Amor alongside me as we look back on some of the best bits of that match that we've just seen there's, there's no doubt that Spain were silky right from the off weren't they yeah but it was the Irish who hit first wasn't it Andy and it was Phil Roberts in the inside the opening two minutes and and that was as good as it got really and it was just an onslaught there from the Spanish Yannick Martin there getting his his first try of a few this afternoon but then it was this man Gonzalez you just saw there the injection of pace to then supply Lacombe down in that corner and it really that the next sort of 10 15 minutes belonged to him Lacombe there this time the try scorer turning into try provider on that occasion for David Bertie to go over and that took it to 18-4 then Gonzalez well he got on the score sheet himself yes yeah, a late try of, of an effort there to get to deny a try but there was another try then and then he hit back didn't it and it was for that man one of the first of his four tries Gonzalez once again into the action so 30 points to 10 at half time and then Spain started the second in, in exactly the same way they did the first yeah they certainly did and you know that combination of uh, Gonzalez and Bertie and then they get a bit fortune here don't they the Irish Johnson Jr there just chasing hard the one one thing that he did wrong Gonzalez this <laughs> yeah. afternoon there cost him a try <laughs> Phil Roberts then to give Johnson Jr his hat trick and that sort of breathed a little bit of life back into the Irish, didn't it? Taking it to 30 points to 20. But then this really, this try just seemed to burst the bubble. Gonzalez digging into the line there to supply the winger with the ball to put down in the corner. And then Yannick Martin just using space and pace arriving on ball at that point. Phil Roberts there. This was a lovely try, wasn't it? That combination of catch and pass over into the corner. But then right at the very death of it, Gonzalez, well, he just puts on the afterburners. He hits the goal button and he just skins the Irish defence there out wide <laughs> to score. And then just right at the death there, it was Johnson Jr. to get his fourth for the afternoon. And that was the story, Andy, wasn't it? Absolutely. And Gonzalez already looks like he could be one of the stars of this tournament. So... Uh, the earliest of early days, of course, but Spain's win gives them the two points and the place at the top of the table as things stand. Australia versus England coming up live for you later on. 7.30 p.m. start for that one. And then Group B gets underway in Sheffield tomorrow. A reminder that the top two teams in Group A and Group B make the semi-finals and then the final in Manchester on the 18th of November. Thanks to Kyle Amort for being with me. Thanks to you for watching. We hope you enjoyed that match between Spain and Ireland, and if it was your first experience of wheelchair rugby league, I'm sure you'll be back for more. Good night.